I'm back with another tutorial on Google Docs. Now this tutorial will look at some of the advanced features you can use in order to organize your syllabus or scheme of work. Now a lot of us have a lot of different files that we want our teachers to have access to. For example I have my tracking files, lots of different Google Docs, I have my self-assessment checklists, I have overview of units, all these files have to be shared with the relevant teachers. Now one option is to put all this information into a single document and link to different chapters. This does create a very large document with a lot of pages and a lot of information. A much faster way to organize this is to create a single Google Doc, as you can see here, that links to all these files. As you can see, this is a view-only copy. This is what your teachers would see. Let's say I am the year 4 teacher and I want to see the end of year 4 expectations. What I can do now is I can simply click on this link and as you can see Google immediately opens the relevant document. Here I have all my end of year expectations for year 4. This is still a view only document so nothing can be changed and I'm still in charge. The same goes for all the other documents here. Let's have a look at the year 5 pupil self-assessments. And again your document is a simple click away. This makes it much easier for your teachers to keep track of their documents and you don't end up with 50 shared files which it can be quite challenging to find the correct document. Now how did I make something like this? Well first of all you go to your drive and you make sure that you set all your other files to a specific sharing setting. So right click, click on share and make sure that you set your items to anyone with the link can view. This means that your files are not public on the internet, but if your teachers have the link, they can view these files. If you can't see this option, click on Advanced and change the top to Anyone who has the link can view. The second one down. Anyone with the link, anyone who has a link can access, no sign-in required. Save. Make sure it says View. Once you've done that, you can create your overview document. This is my overview document. Now this was created with some simple tables. So let's start by inserting a top table. Let's say two columns, one row. Let's go down a bit and let's insert another table. Let's say four and then another one again two columns, two rows. There we go. We can use this one for our school's logo. Title of uh, the document. You can edit this. And again, if your school has school colors, you can nicely design this using your school's colors. So let's go with Verdana 30. There we go. Let's give it a white color and let's color the cell in one of the school colors. Already this looks a lot nicer. The next row we can say overview of chapters and then here overview of self assessment documents again we want to stick to the school's colors so what we can do now is we can give this a nice background color the text white and maybe even bold let's go to the same here we go and then we do the same for the next one a blue background and we can now go here select this text and use the paint format button 
I click on this and this will copy the format. So now anything I type here, um, other documents, will have the exact same format. Now this doesn't look as fancy yet. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the borders. So as I've shown you in previous tutorials, you can right click, table properties and set your table border to uh, zero points. We do the same for the other tables, table properties, zero points, and table properties, zero points. Okay, we now have a simple document that will link to our files. Now how do we get those files in there? Let's go back to your drive and let's say that the first one is overview of chapters. So let's say that my first chapter is this one, overview of units year one. So I can right click on this file and I get the link. Copy the link that's given to you. Control C if you're on a PC or right click and copy. Back to our overview and we click on insert link paste the link and give it a title year one overview I will click on apply and I now have a link that will link to that file as you can see when I click on this I get a link down here that's because I am an editor whenever you share this file with other people if they have viewing privileges they will not see this link they will simply open the document so you will click it and the document will open as you can see here so let's continue let's add some more links let's say that I want to add the year 2 file so let's go right click get link I copy the link insert and I insert my year two overview apply now I don't like the this font and I don't like the underlining so what I can do now is I can actually take this and I can use the copy paint format and give it the exact same format maybe not white but let's say black this is how you can create a simple overview and then you on, the only thing you have to do then is share this one file with your teachers or staff and they will have access to all the other documents linked to in this single document another really good feature is as you can see this is my viewers view they can't change anything but when I make a change to the original everyone with access will immediately see that change this is a great way of keeping your document up to date with all the latest information I hope this was useful if you have any more questions please use the comments below otherwise subscribe for more or have a look at the other videos